now move to the patient's right hand side for examination of the hands. So Darren, I'm going to give you this pillow. Would you have to put your hands on it? Place the patient's hands on a pillow for comfort. Are you in any pain at all? No. Did I just get you to Next, examine the fingers for signs of clubbing. Look for peripheral cyanosis in the fingertips. Look for tar staining, indicative of heavy smoking. Check each finger in turn for increased fluctuance of the nail bed and loss of nail bed angle. Okay, and could you put your two index fingers together like that, the nails together like that? To perform Shamrot's test, ask the patient to oppose the nails of the index fingers of each hand. Look for light at the nail bed between the two nails. Yeah, that's great. Thanks very much. Uh, can I get you to turn your hands over, please? Look for palmar erythema. The redness will usually appear in the hypothenar eminence. Is there pallor of the palmar creases, which is seen in anemia? Check capillary refill. Normal capillary refill is less than three seconds. Okay. I'm just going to measure your pulse rate, if that's all right. Assess the pulse rate and rhythm for approximately 15 seconds. If you've not already done so, this is a good time to measure the respiratory rate by shifting your attention from the counting of the pulse to counting breaths without telling the patient you were doing so. Okay, Dara, could I get you to put your, hand, your arms out like this? Look for a fine tremor in the hands, which is a sign of overuse of beta-2 agonists. Dara, can I get you to put your hands out straight as if you were trying to stop a bus? Note any flapping tremor around the wrist joints. Alright, and then can I get you to put your hands straight up in the air like this? If the patient has an apical lung tumour, this can restrict blood flow back to the chest, resulting in facial erythema or plethora and difficulty breathing. This is called Pemberton's sign. I'm just going to